In this video, we're going to look at styling a modal window with CSS. We're also going to make it responsive, so it adapts to different browser sizes or different devices. So this is what the modal looks like. You can see that as I scroll in the background, it just stays in a fixed position. You can, of course, choose an absolute position, so it scrolls with the rest of the content, but still stays in the middle. And you can basically style this up how you want. We're going to look at the basics of centering this and also making it so it's responsive and stays really, really nicely within the page like this. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the code and look at how we would do this. So we're starting off with an empty document here. It's basically a document layout. We've got a style sheet already linked in called global.css and that's within a CSS directory here. There's nothing in here at all at the moment. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just generate some content on the page. So a load of paragraphs with some lorem ipsum in. And that gives us a nice base to play around with scrolling up and down, as well as pulling the browser window in and out. And we're going to define where this modal is going to sit. This might be generated with JavaScript or something like that if you're using some kind of plugin that forces you to style your own modal window. I'm just going to call this modal. So it's just going to be a div with a class of modal. And I'm just going to say I am a modal. So when I refresh, we see that up here. But obviously, we don't have any styles associated with this now. So inside of global.css, then let's create our selector for modal and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is choose the positioning of this element. And in this case, it's going to be a position of fixed. You'll notice that the rest of the content comes up because this now is in our control. We can move it wherever we want on the page. Now, this is one of the hardest things to grasp with CSS. How can we center this in the middle of the page? Well, of course, you could do something like left 50%, uh, but that's not going to work as well as you hoped. It might look like it's centered. But let's just start to build up the rest of this window, and then we'll look at a little trick that we can use using the CSS transform property. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a background. So we'll say white, and let's change this to background color. And I'm going to give this a border as well. So we'll say one pixel solid and I don't know, AAA. So this is starting to look more like it would be a little modal window. We just need to make a few more adjustments. So we can set some padding on this. So 30 pixels, for example, when we refresh, we get this. And we can then go ahead and do things like round out the borders with border radius. So five pixels. And we could perhaps move this from the top about 50 pixels, just so it sits a little bit further down the page. So we've got this now, but we need it centered. So let's give this a width now. I'm going to give this a width of 70%. And I'm then going to give this a maximum width of 700 pixels. The reason I've done this is the width of 70% gives it that actual width then the maximum width controls that within different size viewports. So now when I refresh, you can see that we get this and it's not looking great at the moment. We can't really see what's going on with it resizing. So let's go ahead now and look at how we can actually center this container. In actual fact, let's add a box shadow onto this. Uh, we'll say three pixels, three pixels X and Y offset. We'll give it an eight pixel spread and we'll set the background to 0, 0, 0 with a 0.5 or 6 alpha. So that gives us the following effect, the little shadow underneath. So it's now acting more like a modal window. It looks like a modal window, but there's a final property that we need to apply here to make this center. And that is the transform element. And we're gonna translate this element, which essentially is moving it around. And we're gonna say minus 50% on the X axis and zero on the Y. So now you can see nothing works. That's because we require the WebKit vendor prefix for this particular property within Chrome. So now, and uh, it looks like I misspelled this, so it's transform. We probably don't need this WebKit prefix actually, but at the time of recording, WebKit is still recommended to be used just for a few browser versions back, just in case this hasn't been implemented. 
So let's check this out and there we go, it's centered. So when we pull this in now, you'll notice that it's maintaining that 700 pixel width up until the point where it's less than 700 pixels and then we can see the percentage come into place there. So it pulls in nicely and comes out to reveal this. Now it's important to know that this isn't actually 700 pixels. If we check this out, it's actually 762. Now the reason for that is we've got 30 pixels padding. So what's actually happening is it's adding 30 pixels on the left, 30 pixels on the right, as well as the top and bottom, but we're not massively concerned with the top and bottom. So 30 pixels on the left and right is 60. And then we have a one pixel border, which is giving us that extra two. So it's 762 now. If you do need a very specific width, you can either look into box sizing or you can just adjust the units just to, uh, or the values, just to make this the exact size that you need. It's probably rare that you need an exact size for a modal anyway. So anyway, we have created here a responsive modal window. There probably are better solutions, but if you are just needing to create a quick modal window that responds to different sizes, then there it is. And as I mentioned before, if you didn't want this to stay in a fixed position as you scroll, you might want to look at using an absolute position, which will mean that it will still allow you to control the position, but it will actually scroll down with the rest of the content. And this is ideal if you have much longer modal content where you want to give your users the freedom to scroll down and view lots of content within the window. So there we are. We've built a very simple modal with CSS.